Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an incredible guest. I say this every time, but I only bring the best guests to you guys. I know you guys love it. We have Crystal Bonnet. She's an incredible raw food chef. She's been raw for, I think, over 10 years, right? Yes. Wow. Since, since 2013, so a little over 10 years now. Okay, yeah. and I just want to say to you and to the audience before we get into our conversation, Crystal is literally, I see a lot of people, right? You guys, like a lot of healthy people. I swear to God, you're the healthiest looking person I've ever seen, oh. which is, whoa, I know I've said that about some people. Crystal yeah. freaking blows me away, you guys. We're going to get all her secrets, so let's hop into it. I swear you are, you, what, what is going on? You look so good, but before we get the secrets, take us back. Like you've been raw vegan for over 10 years. Like where did your journey start? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this might be a long, okay, long story short, I don't want to drag it out too long. My, uh, journey to raw veganism has been very progressive throughout my whole life. Some people just wake up and go raw vegan overnight. I started cutting out dairy and animal products at a young age, and then I had cut out gluten. So I was always eliminating something throughout my whole life. And then I was pescatarian for a really long time. So I was pescatarian for a lot of years, up until 10 years ago. And so I was eating a lot of processed food because I hated being in the kitchen. I hated cooking. I just didn't have any experience. I didn't know how to cook. And so I was eating a lot of processed food because I didn't want to prepare my food. I wasn't eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. I wasn't eating whole living fresh foods that our body needs, right? Mm -hmm. And so because I was eating a lot of processed food, so for example, I'll just give you an idea of what my daily intake uh, looked like. I would go to work and I would have two packets of instant oatmeal in the microwave for breakfast. Wow. Oatmeal was like my go-to, right? And you Just, probably thought it was healthy, right? Like, exactly. I'm yeah. like, oh, vegan, gluten-free, oats, fiber. Yeah. yeah, healthy. So I'm having my microwave packaged oatmeal and then lunchtime I would have some kind of processed frozen thing again mm -hmm. in the microwave. But you know those Amy's uh, vegan pizza. burritos? Yeah, Johnny the Juicer was talking about those yesterday. The oh. Amy's pizza and Amy's. Oh, pizza. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so I used funny. To eat the Amy's soup. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the burritos, I used to eat those things like candy. So those were like my go to lunch snack, right? Yeah. Microwaved. And then I would go home and for dinner, because I didn't want to cook, the, my cooking was putting gluten free toast in the toaster and then some scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. so where are the fruits and vegetables in there yeah where's the living life right so how were you None. feeling then oh well that's the thing like crap so I was catching my immunity was very low so I was catching everything in the office my skin was really bad I had no energy I was working in a huge office of 400 people and I was catching everything that everybody was getting so I was off work for about two months at one point in time because I had like laryngitis pharyngitis strep throat wow and that's when I was like, okay, something is wrong and my body hates me right now. I need to change something. So mm -hmm. I started doing a lot of research online and started looking at cleanses and detoxes because I always had a passion for health, but I always went in and out of it. But it was something that was always on my mind and mm -hmm. that I really liked to research. And I came across a 21-day raw food meal plan that was marketed as a detox because when you're coming off, you know, a standard American diet or a high cooked food diet, any raw food meal plan is going to be a detox, detox for you. And so I downloaded this 21 day raw food meal plan. I went out and bought all of the equipment. I literally had nothing. So when I say I had nothing, I had no spices. I had no stock of anything. I had no blender, juicer, dehydrator. I had to start literally from scratch, wow. right? But I was so committed and I knew that that's what my body needed. And I was so excited about it that I went out and I got the Vitamix. I got all of the ingredients and all the superfoods and everything I needed to do this meal plan. And I uh, did this 21 day raw food meal plan, stuck to it and completely fell in love with raw food. Wow. And then totally lost all my appetite for eggs and seafood because those were the only two animal products that I was eating. So it was kind of, yeah, just a progressive thing for me. And I just really lost all the appetite for it and um, just fell in love with raw food. And I started taking all, every single course that I could take because I wanted to learn everything I could. I think it was the, the creative aspect as well and mm -hmm. just how beautiful raw food looks. That's why I was so gravitated towards it as opposed to cooked food. And your book. Okay. I just have to interrupt for a second. Yeah. <laughs> 
everybody go get crystal's book raw food desserts literally the nicest raw food dessert book i've ever seen in existence you're the literally the best raw food dessert maker on the planet thank you you're so (laughs) So creative thanks yeah so when you went raw you noticed a lot of differences you felt happier like did you notice a difference with your mental health too like that was big for me everything and physically look at your skin so you're you have the best skin i've ever seen i'm just like mesmerized by you (laughs) we'll get your secrets in a little bit but i don't know why you think that (laughs) so what like how long did it take to see results for you and what were like maybe all the benefits so for me, the benefit in the beginning, I was definitely detoxing because I was very hungry. Even though raw food is very filling because you're eating a lot of fiber and nutrients. If you're going from a cooked diet straight to raw food, then you can definitely go through detox symptoms. So the first little while, I went through some detox symptoms and I was really hungry. But then after I got over that, I just felt amazing, and that's why I kept with it because. I was like, this is how good I'm supposed to feel. This is how food is supposed to taste. The food was so flavorful. Mm -hmm. And the textures and everything, I loved everything about it. But yeah, my skin started actually. So that was one of the things that my family first noticed was my skin. So they would come over and I think I was like a couple months into it. And they were like, oh my gosh, like you look amazing. And how old, do you mind sharing how old you are for because people will Yeah, ask. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm 40. I'm going to be 42 in December. And you're healthier than ever. Yeah, yeah. I feel healthier, healthier than, than ever. Healthier than when you were 22, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. But I mean, at 22, you know, usually most of us are drinking yeah. and partying and... Yeah, and you're sober. Eating and bad. Like, you, you're sober yeah. completely. Like, oh, yeah. Like, without all that to you, right? Yeah, I swear I was allergic to alcohol. So I stopped drinking. I think the last drink I had was, I can't even remember it. I think it was 2014. And it was just one of those things like coffee, you know, when you start eating a high raw diet. Yeah. And you just wake up one day and you're like, I don't need coffee anymore. I just don't feel like it. It was the same thing with alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're you're so clean and you're eating so good. The last thing you no. want to do is put a toxin in your body, right? It feels, if, yeah, if you eat so clean and then you have yeah. a glass of alcohol or coffee, it's like, whoa, right? Yeah, and the alcohol was huge for me. I think it was because what made me stop was I had half a glass of wine and I just felt like crap. I had such a bad headache. I was so depressed. And alcohol is a depressant. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. And so when you're talking about mental health, the r- r- eating raw vegan, my mental health got so much better because where I was living, I was really isolated. I didn't have a lot of friends at the time. So I got depressed a lot. And when you find something too that you're passionate about, it makes such a big difference. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, alcohol, I mean, I would, after half a glass of wine, I was depressed for like a whole week after. And I'm like, I can't do this. Like you might feel chill for a bit and you're like, oh, this is nice. And it just takes you in the moment and like out of all your worries. But then like you, you wake up the next morning, your gut feels gross and like your mental health, it, it, everything for what it takes you up, it takes you way more down then. It's not worth it to me at least. Like, I don't think we were talking about this before last night yeah. and saying like, I don't think it's worth it at all. The benefits because people no. tout it as like, you know, the antioxidants, glass of wine a day, glass of this. I personally don't go for that theory. No, I mean, it's a neurotoxin at the end of the day. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'm like, I'd rather not kill my brain cells. I, yeah. I like my brain cells. I like yeah. having them. So yeah, I would prefer not for that to happen. Well, okay. So I want to know whose meal plan was it that inspired you? Oh, it was the, you know, young and raw. They're not around anymore. Like, They're not? Are they not raw anymore? Th- no. Well, okay. So this was before. Yeah. So you might not know who they are. So when mm-hmm. I got into raw food, it was the biggest raw food blog on the internet wow. called Young and Raw. And they were from Vancouver. Wow. No, they ended up selling it. So they, they sold the website and then it's not around anymore. Oh, like I don't they think. sold it to someone else? That's always weird yeah. when people do that. I saw somebody just do that with a YouTube channel. It's like you follow it for that person, yeah. right? It's kind of weird. And okay, the microwaves, like microwaving, yeah. I think it's like so bad. I don't know. From what I've heard, at least that's my opinion. Yeah. And I've heard in some countries they're outlawing it. I don't know if it's true. I've heard in Japan they don't use them, but I don't know oh, if wow. that's true. But let me know down below. But um, yeah, it's good to get rid of the microwave. Oh, yeah. It's toxic, all these things. And you notice a big difference when you stop cooking your food, mm-hmm. stop using the microwave and you just eat it naturally. And it's not heated. It's like... All we need is our food cooked by the sun, don't you think? Yeah. 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 Or dehydrator. <laughs> yeah. Love, love dehydrating. Yeah. And I'm so surprised. Like you, ha- okay, you eat some dehydrated food. Like, yeah. Yeah. So you make the lifestyle look great. What does a typical day look like for you now? And what did yeah. it look like for you? Like how has it evolved over time? With yeah. Eating? So 
I ha- I go through my phases. So I go through eating, I, depending on the season as well. In the winter, I eat a lot heavy, more heavier food, right? Mm-hmm. But in the summer, I eat lighter. So right now, I'll... And usually, this is how I always start my morning. I always have to have juice first thing. I mean, to me, juice is life. It is... I, some people crave a burger and fries. I crave green juice. Like, I mean, no, especially when I'm traveling, I'm like, I can't wait to get home and have my green juice. Yeah, me too. So I always like to have some kind of juice in the morning. And then a couple hours later, I'll have a smoothie. And then I usually like one big meal a day. So I'll have like my huge raw meal, which will be like kind of a huge uh, salad. And then I'll have some kind of dehydrated component like raw bread or raw cracker on there. It could be anything from like a taco salad. It can be leftovers from recipe testing. Um, It could be, yeah, anything like that. And then I always have snacks because I'm such a snacker. I need comfort food and that's why I love dehydrating so much. And of course, raw dessert. Mm -hmm. And so... (laughs) How did... Yeah, okay. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. So right now I'm taking a break from raw dessert, but I definitely go through my phases where I eat it every day. But especially if I'm testing and we were talking about this yesterday, Mm -hmm. I really have to test and savor my recipes to see if they're, you know, perfect to put out. Yeah. So I won't just have one bite. I have to like, you know, sit down and like really eat the the whole little cake. And then I'll put some in the fridge for the next day and see how it tastes the next day. So depending again on what I'm testing and what I have going on for projects, um, yeah, it depends on what kind of snacks or raw dessert I'm eating as well. But I love de- dehydrating. Like dehydrating is definitely one of my passions in raw food because all the amazing textures you can create and I'm such a comfort food person and I need that comfort food yeah and I just have to say I'm surprised because I feel like our skin really shines from within with being hydrated with having like healthy food not being clogged up and stuff Mm -hmm. and I feel like with me like dehydrated food because it's drier and there's not so much water I, I don't know how do you still have this amazing skin with the dehydrated food like what are your secrets well, what are I mean, secrets? Like, I'm not. So like, do you feel like, do you feel like dehydrated food dehydrates you? Yeah, I do. Oh. I feel like I need a lot more water and I don't, it doesn't mm. do that to you as much. No, but wow. I mean, I'm getting a lot of hydration throughout the day. I drink water. I'm having my juice, my smoothie. Yeah. Fruits. Um, so I do, definitely don't feel dehydrated. I love dehydrated food, but I think just because of everything else I'm doing with all the juices and everything as well, that I'm getting the hydration that my body needs. Yeah. And are there any I'm, foods that you think are like better for your skin or not good for your skin? Cause like, what, do, why do you think your skin looks this good? Cause you must know um, it looks good. I don't think you. I, I think we're all of our own worst critic, like we were just saying. And you don't <laughs> have Botox. Yeah, I don't think it. No, of course not. Would you not, get no. Botox or no? No. And, you know, just like you said, I mean, to each their own. If you do it, that's great for you. Yeah. But for me personally, just intuitively, I just know that I would not react well to it because, again, it is also a neurotoxin and I just don't feel like I want to put that mm-hmm. into my body. But. For people that do it, that's great. I know it's very popular right now, but no, I would not do it. And you don't even have a wrinkle. No, yeah, I have wrinkles. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I have a lot. Like, yes, I make I a lot of facial expressions, and I saw something, and it was like, for anti-aging, try not to move your face as much. I'm like, come on, I can't. <laughs> oh like, I am like... You're so, so you're just supposed to look like a robot no, all the time? Yeah. No, yeah. That's silly. Um, no, I mean, I think that, obviously, as you know, I think fruits mm-hmm. are very good for your skin because they're extremely hydrating hydrating vegetables yeah water in general i mean i think it's really important to drink water i know that we can get a lot of hydration and water from our juices and smoothies and fruits and vegetables but there is something different with the molecular structure of water that it does something different in our body so i think it's really important to get water throughout the day as well and what kind of water do you drink my favorite water is so that uh, spring mineral water that I showed you yesterday and I oh, can't pronounce yeah. the name it starts with a g and it's like a sparkling water it's a spring it's water. a sparkling water but it's a it's a a real natural mineral water I think I it's know not you, like the g one it's like a longer word I think I know what you mean yeah I can never pronounce it yeah but it has the the blue and red label and on the yeah yeah. Anyways, but it's ha- it has the real minerals in there. So it's not yeah. like the Perrier or San Pellegrino. Yeah. It's totally different. But it's expensive, but I love it. So I have a Berkey water filter at yeah. home. Okay. I love the Berkey. It's That's perfect. That's what the one is here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a perfect over the count, like on the counter water filter system that won't break the bank. 
And it looks nice. Yeah, it looks really nice, especially for us. Like we rent, we don't own, so we don't have yeah. an installed filter system. It's just yeah. perfect for moving and you can have it wherever. And um, so usually my water, I always put like half of that sparkling mineral water and then I'll do half of the Berkey uh, filtered water. Cool. And what else? Like, oh yeah, it's called... Yeah, Girl Steiner. Is that <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Gerald Steiner. Gerald Steiner, huh? Gerald Steiner, mineral water. Well, yeah. you're drinking the right water. Oh, like. well, thanks. But I take minerals as well. Like, you do? I like think, those mineral drops? No. So I take magnesium. I think it's really important for especially women to take magnesium every day. Most people are deficient in a lot of minerals. And magnesium also is what helps hydrate you. It helps hold the water. No way. In our bodies, yeah. Wow. So magnesium is really important to take. I've been taking that for a long time. I take it every single day. Wow. Mm -hmm. And there's magnesium and calcium and all the minerals in that water as well. Yeah. And any other secrets you think? Or like, what does the routine look like? If you want to share, if not, we can cut it out. For the... Your skin routine? Oh, like, yeah. For my skin routine? Or yeah. like any other things you think are attributed to this, how, how we get this? I like think... sleep and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. Think? Sleep. So sleep, I do not um, skip out on sleep. That is like, sleep is very important to me. And you don't have kids. You get a good night's sleep. No, I, do, I don't have kids. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm lucky that way. <laughs> yeah, you can sleep. I can get... Yeah. And uh, so I get... I think it's important for women to get at least eight hours of sleep at night because we definitely need more sleep than men mm -hmm. um and i don't get up at, i mean it was funny when i quit my full-time job i said that was the last time ever i'm getting up at 5 a.m <laughs> It's like if I get up at five, no. I am way more unproductive during the day and yeah. I don't function because I crash by three o'clock. You crash. You get more anxiety when you're tired. It's proven. And when yeah. you sleep, like your brain processes all the stimulation from the day before. So, right. you know, they say it like builds up almost if you're not mm -hmm. sleeping. And then it's really bad for mental health for us not to get sleep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah everything, even our cells. Yeah. Our, our, our whole like body regeneration. Yeah. It really affects us if we don't sleep. Well, so. what do you think is like the biggest thing you've learned in your health journey? Because you're so passionate about health. Like you were showing me yeah. the books you read here and stuff like that, too. Like, what are some of the biggest things you've learned over the last 10 years? And I always love to ask, like, where do you think you'd be if you didn't start taking this path? Oh, my goodness. I think honestly that I would have taken this path somehow. I feel like I was always called to it because everything that I've done my whole life and it was very progressive for me. Like I made that connection at five years old where meat comes from and it came from a dead animal and I don't want to eat this. Mm -hmm. So like you just thought that on your own? Without, yeah. Like, without like family influence? No, then? no, exactly. Wow. I'm the only one in my family who who's a vegan. Like nobody else in my family eats that way. And still, I mean, it was a struggle. It took 10 years to get the support from them. <laughs> to yeah. Like, be like, at one point, my dad told me I had a severe eating disorder because just because I'm vegan and gluten free, which and is so thing, insane. To I know. Me. I You always hear people say they think it's an eating disorder. They think it's restrictive. Yeah. But then I think it was Ted Carr when I interviewed and he's like, I've never eaten such a big variety. That's the thing. Like before yeah. I ate this way, I would, you know, burger, fries, pasta, toast, bagels. Mm -hmm. It yeah, like it would exactly. be like the same like 10 things I think yeah and now I eat like 50 million types types of fruits vegetables nuts seeds like this so I I don't agree with that yeah theory but I get it because that's just how we've been raised that's how society is like it's not normal how we eat right like no. compared to everybody else but exactly. to me it's the most normal but to me it's like we're the ones that have the willpower so the ones that are saying this I think maybe they they wish that they could have that that willpower and strength to be able to eat healthy because most people don't No, they just can't and they get influenced by alcohol they get drunk and then so they you know eat pizza and <laughs> burger and fries yeah and do you have advice for somebody if they like want to get to where you're at and get to like eating clean like this and get over the alcohol get over the burgers and yeah, I fight off those cravings. People yeah. have to really be ready, right? That's the thing. Like you can never tell somebody what to do. They have to be ready to make that change. And if they're not, then it's not going to work. Um, but just always to stay true to yourself and don't let other people influence you and do what is right for you. And you know what? All these people around you that are going to try to influence you and bring you down, you just keep doing your thing and shining because you will rub off on them. And you are the example for them. And then they are going to start adding these healthy habits into their life. It's so true. So true. Mm -hmm. And have you ever thought like over the last 10 years of like just giving up on it? Being like, no, oh, let me never. get a glass of wine, a pizza, a beer. It's, you know, it's, I was just saying to someone the other day, you know how 
all of us have that one thing that I call, I always call it like our superpower. Like there's that one thing that we're just so good at. Mm -hmm. My thing always has been that I've never been influenced by other people. I've always done what was right for me. That's so good. And so like when I would go to family events and my family would try to talk me into drinking and I wouldn't and I didn't want to drink so I just wouldn't drink but and I would just you know deal with the backlash and <laughs> just yeah. do my thing or go home early but yeah I've always stayed true to myself that way because I always knew what was right for me and I was never going to budge on that but also eating animal products for me is like how some people have an aversion to cilantro mm-hmm. I just can <laughs> I'm serious like I just cannot I put it in my mouth like the thought of it just completely grosses me out and when was the last time you had like an animal product or like like a fish chicken egg so cheese right before I went but yeah. right before I did the raw food detox wow so yeah. over 10 years yeah over yeah. 10 years and do yeah. you supplement I can't remember yeah I supplement yeah I'm yeah, taking those su- no like b12 and stuff though yeah and I'm taking those compliment supplements oh yeah they're the suggested. best yeah I just got those yeah I'll link those down below for you guys they're all in one so mm-hmm. I like those because they have b12 d uh k2 iodine, iodine zinc selenium magnesium all they the have things it all in one all the things and you know what i love about them because this is the one thing that a lot of people don't talk about on a vegan diet is being deficient in iodine it's so underrated i always so I, underrated I and you know what happens if we're not if we don't have a good intake of iodine then we accept our body accepts more EMF radiation. Wow. And this is another thing that's not talked about because I really got into that because we had just, and I'll just say this really quick. I don't want it. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Um, we had just moved into a new townhouse last uh, November. Yeah. And when we went to go look at this townhouse, it was dark outside. So I didn't see the huge high voltage power lines and huge cell tower that was right in front of the townhouse complex. No way. So if I would have seen that, there's no way that we would have moved And you're still there there right now? We had already signed the lease. Well, you can handle it. Look how healthy you are. Oh, now, but when we first moved in, no, I was really affected. I was so sick. I couldn't function. Stop. Wow. It was really bad. I'm so sensitive to these cell towers. And how I know this is because one of the companies that I used to work at, which was actually my last office job that I had before I quit, they had a cell tower right on top of the building. And we had moved into a brand new building because it was a brand new office that they built. Mm -hmm. And when we first moved in, it was really affecting me. For me, it's like being on an airplane times a thousand. So my ears plug and I get all this pressure down the back of my neck. Crazy. But this affects a lot of people and people have no idea that's what it is. So at the time, I didn't know that there was a cell tower on top of that building. Wow. We thought it was the air pressure in the building because there was about four people that this affected. Crazy. So other people were having the same symptoms as me. So then years later, fast forward to moving to this townhouse last November And I just intuitively knew as soon as I saw that cell tower, I'm like, that is the culprit. Like, this is why I'm feeling this way. So I went on the cell tower map because you can go on a cell tower map and you can find where they are. Yeah. Throughout the whole country. You can find it where all the cell towers are. And I'm like, I bet you there's a cell tower on top of that building that I used to work in. And sure enough, (laughs) it was. And I was like, wow. And I'm so happy I figured that out because otherwise I would have never have known. If, yeah. if we didn't move, I wouldn't have known that that was the problem. So I was like, okay, now I know for future that my body does not <laughs> like cell towers. So anyways, what I had did was I went and got some nascent liquid iodine. I was um, told by a homeopath to get this. And it was the only thing that worked for me because the iodine blocks the radiation, right? From entering I didn't know your thyroid. That. Wow. Yeah. And this is the thing. Obviously, I was so deficient in iodine because I'm vegan and I was never taking an iodine supplement. Nobody ever told me to take that. Like nobody really That's talks why about they started it. iodizing the salt way back in the day because there were big deficiencies. Mm. So like it's in some salt too. That's why like, you right. know, obviously not in a lot of good quality salt, but I yeah. ta- I use like a little bit of iodized. I don't know if you consume salt. I'll ask you though. I want to know. But I use a little bit of iodized sea salt from Greece with some of my dishes mm. and then the all in one. And then there's iodine in like... Uh, kelp noodles and stuff like that right yeah yeah, it's important for a thyroid hormone but from what i've researched too we have to be careful not to have um it's like we have to be careful not to have too much or too little or like none at all is dangerous right but i think it could be bad if you have too much that's what i've heard i don't know if that's true but yeah i don't know i was drinking the stuff when i was but i didn't know that about the connection with the radiation yeah 
That's interesting. Or it's with the crazy. towers. We got to be careful. Like, who knows how all this is affecting us? Exactly. How did you learn that that affects the, that, the, that they're connected like that? Um, so I had a friend, thank God I have a lot of health friends in the community and I reached out yeah. to everyone. I'm like, this is what is happening. What do I do? And one of my friends had asked her homeopath what to do. And he said, get the nascent iodine because hmm. then it'll help. So it was the only thing that worked. And then in January, I went and did a detox in Thailand. I did a two week detox. It was the most intense detox I've ever done because I've never detoxed like that before. Mm -hmm. So it was basically like a fasting mimicking diet. It was 700 calories a day, but Whoa. through two juices, one blended fruit smoothie and a blended soup. But in, in that whole protocol, you had to do a coffee enema every day. And then we did one liver flush a week. And the liver flush was like the ho whole reason why I went and did this detox, I bet you, because the liver flush was the huge turning point for me. And I really no needed to do that. I've never done anything like that. And so what was the liver flush? like? So it's the, it's the olive oil and orange juice. So you drink the, you can find, you can find it online. So I've never you, heard of it. You have to like basically fast for four days. And then on the fourth day, you drink magnesium. You have to have apple juice all day for the malic acid. And then you have um, some magnesium salts and then you drink a orange juice and olive oil mixture to get you, you have to have that fat and the oil to get the bile and everything going mm -hmm. and um, then you have more magnesium salts and in the morning you pass all the gallstones wow and holy i had a lot of gallstones and it's funny a lot of people there's a lot of people in the health communities that say that this doesn't work it's just the reaction of the magnesium and the olive oil in your body and this is what yeah. you're passing but i think that's a bunch of bs because you have to experience it for yourself to see that it does work because the second time i did it i never passed any gallstones wow and after i passed all those gallstones the very first time that i did it i felt i mean it was like holy crow i felt a thousand times better wow crazy and everybody had different results at the detox center I think it really works. Now I want to do it at least once a year. Yeah. I think if nobody, especially women, women over 40 are very prone to getting gallstones. Yeah. Wow. And have you done any other types of fasting or like any juice fasting? You just did a watermelon fast. I yeah. Think I just did here. three days of watermelon. Yeah. Sorry. But the reason why I brought up the Thailand detox was when I came home after that, then the EMF radiation didn't affect me as much anymore. And wow. I didn't have to take the NASA and iodine anymore. Interesting. So now I just take it in the complement supplement because yeah. it has it in there. And you know what? That's su that supplement company. They're great. I know the owner. And I don't know if you get their emails, but sometimes they send out, yeah. like, they're totally honest. Yeah, they and they send say, recipes like, and everything. Because apparently with some supplement companies, like, you can be shady and you can put, like, half the ingredients and just fillers. have, like, shady practices and stuff. And they're all mm. about doing things right. So that's what I like about them. What I love about them is that they're third-party tested, which yeah. is huge for me. Any company that does third-party testing, like, I will support them. Yeah, I, he's great. Yeah, so where were we? What else were we just saying? We were talking about, oh yeah, I just did a watermelon fast. Yeah. So I just ate watermelon for three days. Yeah, I like to do that every summer just as kind of a reset. And for me, because it's really hard for me to do a juice fast, like I cannot juice fast. It's yeah. Really, I faint, I get really dizzy. See, when I juice fast, I drink like eight to 12 plus a day and I drink a lot oh, of coconut okay, water. Maybe. I'm just like, boom, boom. And then I'm just like on cloud nine. Yeah, so that makes I drink such a, a lot. Difference. So how many watermelons were you eating in a day? Like one and a half medium size. And you were satisfied and felt good? Oh yeah, because watermelons are so filling right they make you you just you're, it's almost i don't know it's like your brain is like so hydrated and yeah. like and because you get to eat i for me doing the watermelon is so much easier for me because i can eat it you can blend it juice it so it doesn't get so boring you're not just drinking liquid all the time yeah a lot of people with the juicing they're like i can't not chew so yeah yeah so it really cool. works for me i did three days and then that's good. had to travel here so i broke yeah. it with a smoothie because i needed the energy to travel yeah so and no water fasting dry fasting i've never done any of that no. me too i don't think i could do it yeah i intermittent fast like throughout the day right yeah well, what are maybe some of the biggest people that have influenced you? I don't think I asked you that yet. Oh my like, gosh. Yeah, yeah. So a lot. Um, and a lot that you're going to be interviewing or that you've interviewed already. So definitely like all the OGs. Yeah. Right? So like, you know, Marcus and Kara, I love their YouTube videos. I've been watching them forever. Um, and I was t telling you yesterday how much I love John Kohler and all yeah. of his YouTube videos yeah. because they're so informative and all the information he gives is really um 
science-based on yeah. journals and yeah. um, studies that have been done yeah so i love his youtube channels yeah um melissa you know melissa mayor so yeah. melissa is from Edmonton as oh, well yeah, i so think i, I knew that at the same time cool and yeah, so she's really inspiring with all of her recipes and her food and your recipes. Oh, your recipes are insane. So I know a lot of people like to always wonder, like, oh, a lot of people dream of writing a book. I have a book too. My yeah. I have a kid's book and I self-published. But any tips or advice for somebody who's like, I want to, and everybody go grab this book. It is the best book ever. But any Thanks. tips if somebody's like, I want to put my book, bring my book to life? Yeah. Um, so for me because i had the publisher come to me i didn't have that experience of having to yeah. try to find a publisher but i know a lot of people who do like this publisher page street publishing they're always accepting book proposals yeah so i mean you just have to do up yeah i mean if you have a vision of a book that you want to do do up a book proposal find a publisher send it out you can also get someone to help you do a book proposal there's so many people out there so many experts like sarah kid from um vegan baking i don't know if you know her Probably no not because she doesn't do raw but she has a huge i think like the biggest vegan baking facebook group mm -hmm. on facebook mm -hmm. and um she has a course and she uh, yeah can give a lot of information on how to do a book proposal mm -hmm. um yeah and I, then just finding an agent if you want to go that route as well so or finding a pr person yeah Cool. Mm -hmm. It must feel so. I was saying to you last night. It must have felt so good when you get your book. You're like, yeah, oh my gosh, it when it's like all done. Yeah, because you never really know. Like you see it in a PDF format, yeah. But then when you get it and hold it in your hands, you're like, wow, this is really beautiful. Yeah, it's so <laughs> exciting. Well, I'm just wondering too. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think I asked you. Do you think you would still look this good at this age of 40? Like we're both 40. 41 right yeah we're the same do you age. think you when would your birthday august 23rd 82 oh you're august 23rd yeah okay when's yours again I'm, uh december 25th christmas 1981 december 25th yeah wow yeah, on christmas yeah christmas wow Day. cool so it's easy it's easy to remember yeah I'll always remember your birthday now <laughs> it's so easy wow that's awesome yeah um you mean do you think do i think i would look you would as good be, if like, i was healthy and glowing and stuff if you were eating how you used to eat oh uh, no imagine because yeah. i mean i i feel like i looked dead before yeah wow like someone asked me the other day can you describe in one word how you felt before you were eating a plant-based diet as opposed to now and i <laughs> said dead and now alive <laughs> because honestly i was like my level of consciousness was so low my spirituality i had no spirituality Wow. Yeah. I want to ask you, how has it changed your life spiritually? Like the oh, lifestyle? Like, yeah. And why do you think that happens? Yeah. I think it's because when you're eating so many living foods and you're not eating dead food and you're not eating animals because you're also consuming that energy, the energy that happens when the animals, you know, are tortured and killed, you're consuming that in your body. It's going to lower, lower your level of consciousness. Yeah. And as you know, they've done studies with living foods. The energy around it is so much more than. Yeah. Like the curly photography food. and stuff. When you see the energy. <laughs> exactly. So when you're eating these high vibrational foods, your level of consciousness is going to keep going up. Yeah. And uh, then, so this is why you see, and I see this a lot in the raw vegan community. You see people going raw vegan and then you see the spirituality part of them come out and then they're posting a lot about spirituality or they move into a different career path from raw vegan. Then they're doing some kind of career in spirituality. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so this for me, the last couple of years, I mean, spirituality has been a huge thing for me. Yeah. And something I've really been focusing on and studying. And yeah. Yeah. And I think that this is the way that humans are going. Like we're supposed to be moving to this other level of consciousness. Mm hmm. And we're evolving over time this way. So yeah, it's just whether the rest of the planet wants to catch, catch up. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on no. <laughs> and like, okay, if somebody's watching, they're like, I want to get to where you're at. I want to reach this level. You look good. You're like spiritual. Yes. Like, and they're asked where to start. Like, how do I start? Everybody always asks that on this yeah. channel. Like how to start. What I always get? say the best thing to do if you are eating a lot of cooked food or a standard American diet, for instance, even incorporating one green smoothie. Like you don't have to go crazy and go get a juicer and buy the dehydrator and all of this stuff. No, all you need is a blender. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be getting in some blended fruits and greens, then that you're way ahead of most people. Yeah, it's so true. And once you start incorporating that, even just the one green smoothie a day, you're going to start feeling so much better and it's going to have a lot of health benefits. Then you're going to want to eat healthier and make those yeah. healthier choices. 
Yeah. So just start there. That's a good good advice. Mm -hmm. And you make such beautiful meals. So somebody's like, oh, you make it look fun. Like, look at these desserts. Look at these meals. And they want to learn. Like, how can they learn from you? Is there any, like, they can get the book yeah. for sure. Yeah. But so is there can... like, is there, what do you have going on right now? Is there a course? Is there like anything that they can come to you for? Yeah. So I have some courses online. So if you go yeah. to my website, crystaldawnculinary.com. Yep. I'll put them I have below. a raw food chef course. I have a nut free raw cake course because I really got into the nut free stuff when I was getting a lot of requests asking for nut free raw desserts. Yeah. And it was a good challenge for me because I yeah. like the challenge. Um, and yeah, so you can find on my website, I have some courses I have a really good, oh, if you want to get started with raw food, I have a raw food foundations masterclass. That's only $27. That's amazing. That's a whole video course of a one day raw food meal plan. Wow. No dehydrator required. They're really simple recipes, but yeah. cool. I show you how to plate them and make them look pretty. There's yeah. like a, a fancy raw dessert, but still really easy to make. So you can start there. Yeah. And get the Raw Food Foundations Masterclass and yeah, learn some yeah. easy raw food like snacks, a smoothie. I do uh, lunch, dinner, dessert. Yeah. Amazing. And would you say, like, have you, would you say there's been like any challenges for you with this lifestyle? Like, maybe how have you overcome those? Yeah. So the biggest challenge for me was what we were just talking about earlier was with uh, my family not mm -hmm. accepting the way that I eat. Mm hmm. Um, and I think to just, um, cost, you know, yeah. sometimes it can cost a little, bit. well, for me, I love kitchen equipment and tools. Yeah. <laughs> and I have like, but now you're and sad. I have like two of everything, especially yeah. for filming in case something goes down. I have to have two Vitamixes or two. Do you have two <laughs> juicers too? Yeah, I have two juicers. I want to get another one. Three dehydrators. And we have the best juicer, the Nama. I'll put a code down yes. below if you guys want to save 55 bucks. It's the best juicer. Everybody uses it. Everybody loves it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's worth it investing in that stuff. And it makes it fun. And you don't always have to eat that way. You can eat like just straight up salads, mono meals too. But it's fun. Like I like to fluctuate in and out of like making yeah. recipes and then. And that's what I love, right? That's why I fell in love with raw food because I love the creative aspect of it and the culinary aspect. So mm -hmm. I like having this, all of these kitchen tools, you know, mm -hmm. that's, those are like my toys, right? Mm -hmm. um, but also too, I always say that, of course, in the long run, it's not going to cost you a lot because your health, you can never, ever put a price on your health. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, that's really the whole family thing was only the biggest challenge, I think, for me. Yeah. And I just want to say too, like you're aging so gracefully and beautifully. You're Thank shining. You. Do you have like a summary of like, advice for people want to age beautifully like this age gracefully maybe like a summary of the top foods like a little wrap-up of everything you'd advise yeah because you're an expert in this t to me because look <laughs> at you like a real life like well, from your like experience and point of view you. yeah I mean I think when we were talking about hydrating foods and juicing mm -hmm. hydrating foods is definitely number one getting mm -hmm. that hydration but I think also two other parts of your lifestyle such as your stress so make sure your stress is down, like do some meditation, maybe some breath work, exercise. Exercise has always been a huge part of my life mm -hmm. because that also helps my mental health as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm the kind of person that has to move every day mm -hmm. just to function and just like get that out in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I think definitely exercise is a huge one as well. Um, yeah, I think also to the spirituality part of it. Yeah. And just being happy with yourself and at peace because that shines through too, right? When you love totally. yourself, <clears throat> then you can see that on people as yeah. well. Yeah. And what do you think if people are feeling like having a hard time finding that self-love? Do you have like any advice for people to feel m just better about themselves and love themselves more and not be so hard on themselves? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is one huge thing. And I brought this up to you this morning. I see people on social media being so hard on themselves, especially with eating. Yeah. This is one thing that we need to really step back a bit because there is a, I think I see a lot of orthorexia happening right now in the culinary world and the plant-based industry. Um, and if you start eating healthy and you go off that path and you just binge one day on I don't know a burger and fries or something like don't beat yourself up because mm -hmm. you're gonna make it worse you're gonna yeah. make yourself worse there's always the next day the next day is always a new day so just remember that like you're like okay I can start again tomorrow it's all good it's this was just one day it's no big deal yeah 100 percent. and if somebody thinks like oh crystal or jill it's too much for me to go like fully raw but I want to eat more this way. Do you have any advice for that? If somebody's just like, I can't do a hundred percent, like where should they start? Maybe yeah. if that's too much. I mean, it's funny because when we 
talk about raw vegan food, most people are eating some raw fruits or vegetables throughout the day, right? We're just Mm -hmm. putting that label on it. Mm -hmm. So maybe just don't put the label on it so much and just eat real whole foods. Just look at it that way. Yeah. I'm eating real whole living foods and just incorporate. You could do a, a cooked and raw fusion. So, I mean, I did this a lot too, where you just add like steamed potatoes on top of a salad or add some greens in there that's going to give you that sa- satiety. I can never pronounce the word, you know, where you say, yeah, yeah, that you're looking for and that comfort food. Um, and yeah, just by incorporating more living foods into your diet. You know, when I go grocery shopping, it's funny, I go in the grocery store and literally like my 90% or like 95%, I want to say, because I buy all of my bulk ingredients online, like yeah. wholesale, all my dry, like nuts, seeds, yeah, uh, like coconut aminos, all of the stuff. Yeah. So when I go grocery shopping, I only spend time in the produce section. Like I only go to the produce. Yeah, me too. Like that's where everyone should be that's going where it's at. buying all their food. Everything's yeah. alive. Like I don't mm-hmm. buy the stuff in the boxes. It's just like, no. and a lot of that stuff is meant to last years and years. It's the like preservatives. So think, how is that digesting inside your body, right? No, Versus you see so the produce, bad. it'll wither away after like a few days, right? So it's like, I don't want to put stuff in my body that's just made to last no. on a shelf till like 2029. 20, like, no, you know? <laughs> of course what? not. Like, no, I mean, I go grocery shopping for produce every like three days. Because yeah. Because that's as long as produce usually lasts. Well, where I live anyways. So yeah, just um, looking at, I think just changing your mindset, not putting the label on it. Like, yeah. Just, I'm just going to eat real whole living foods. True. Yeah. Shop in the it. produce section. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. So simple and so true, right? Yeah, High yeah. five. Let's get the dopamine. <laughs> well, you're yeah, awesome. Yeah. I love. Yeah, I love yeah. how you came here to LA. I'm have been having so much fun with you. Last night we were just laughing, and it's yeah. so nice to be around like like minded people. Mm-hmm. We were saying that and people on the same path. And I feel like the longer you do this, the more you attract those people like minded yeah, on the right 100%. path. You just have to have patience until it changes and like not give up not cave and just go back to those old friends and having the wine and all Mm -hmm. that like just stay patient invest in yourself it's worth it like you're the best investment you know and then the right people will come yeah and just stay true to you and just you got to do what you got to do and what's right for you yeah exactly Mm -hmm. well thanks thanks for coming on i've loved having you you on yeah you're amazing (laughs) you look so good and you're shining and you're so magnetic and thank you again everybody go grab crystal's book go get all her courses everything she has available i'll put it down below and if you want the nama i'll put that below in the compliment supplements with the code to save and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it added some value to your day. We love Crystal. She's amazing. And subscribe if you don't already. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.